Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, your resource for everything homeschool. Uh, today, um, I've gotten the complete curriculum for fourth grade and for sixth grade, as we don't always go on grade level for every subject, depending where we need work is where I work. And I needed just the math part for fifth grade right now. Uh, so I ordered in this book and just wanted to see it now. Initially, initially, when I look at it, I'm still not finding in fourth, fifth, or sixth order of operation in these. I did find it in the top student books. I will leave links to everything below. Um, um, but I wanted to see what's in this book and uh, what it covers. Worksheets on math are always great because we usually work on MobiMax. Uh, we're doing Generation Genius. I have an upcoming math program next year that I want to work on. And then we do worksheets on top of those. So try just really like Generation Genius for Science. So I wanted to try it for math too. So let's open up a book and see what's in such. All right. So they have six units in here. And I'm trying to make it as easy to read as possible. So these are the headings for them. Uh, whole numbers, multiplication, division, fractions, uh, decimals, measurements, and geometry. What I'm going to do is go through and see what they cover in those things. We have place value, reading, writing, whole numbers. Uh, we have the addition here, more addition, problem solving, making a graph, addition of three or more numbers, so three numbers together. Okay, we have work backwards here. So basically, it's like checking your answer. Problem solving. Eek. They're easier when you get older. Problem word problems were hard when we were kids. A unit review. What I found really helpful to do. This is the the long division that we've been doing. Actually, uh, at first it seems like it's so hard to do, but I always teach them the song write down the steps for them so that they know what they're supposed to be doing after each other and make it a lot easier for them and then make it fun like at the end we always say bring it on down with the remainders two digit divisors we're working on that right now and we were working on that at the end of the year we're continuing with that right now just for more practice um at first, I thought it was going to be so hard to explain it, but once we got to the point where we need to work on that, he seemed to get what he needs to do easily because he's had enough practice with it. All right, we have fractions here. Fractions, fractions, fractions. We do need to do a full and complete thing on fractions because fractions are hard. So estimate fractions. So this is the math part of this book. Again, I'm not going to go through every single one. Review. And then we have the decimals. Working on decimals. It all goes together. Fractions, decimals. Uh, comparing decimals. Going through all of that. And then adding with decimals. Subtracting with decimals. And problem solve, solving, they want you to estimate. So learning how decimals actually interact with the rest of the number. A unit review here. And then measurements, working on measurements. We already got through this part over here. We've used a lot of Moby Max for these. I'm a great advocate of Moby Max too. Um, it's like $9.99 and you get all the subjects, you get the first month free. I definitely would think you should try it out. Um, it's $7.99 for just one subject, but it's $9.99 for all the subjects. Um, I do have a video on it. I want to make an updated video just after so much experience on Moby Max. So here we go on this. You got the answer key in the back and this is the math section. It is... 128 pages of information and work keeps your kids busy and gets them um, really working hard and practicing on those um